Adams had a superior alertness to the gestures of the natural world in their simplicity and their subtlety, and that was half the story. Uh, the other half was a rare sensitivity to his medium that allowed him to devise pictorial solutions that could stand as a surrogate for the experience. The experience, of course, is incommunicable. There are three pictures. The one on the left, a picture that I had never seen, never seen reproduced. Adams obviously thought highly of it because he sent it to Harold Ickes when he was trying to persuade Ickes to support his notion for a uh, photographic survey of the national parks. These three pictures are made all, to my mind, extraordinarily beautiful pictures, made within a period of, what, a minute, two minutes, three minutes, while the scene uh, in front of Adams is changing with great rapidity. Lake MacDonald, what, 1940, I believe. But he is not simply replenishing his plate holder and shooting again. He is revising the formal solution to the picture to the picture, depending on the nature of what is happening in the real world. From the one on the left to the one on the right, you see that he both changes his lens to encompass a substantially smaller piece of the visual field. And because of what is happening in the water, he raises his horizon, raises the uh, nature of the design to uh, accommodate what is happening in the world. And a minute after that, uh, when the surface of the water again becomes relatively clear and the shapes become flat, jagged, sharp, picture much like uh, ice and cliffs that we saw earlier. Uh, again, requiring a, a revision of the uh, design of the picture to a, a much more symmetrical and flat one, abandoning the beautiful sensuousness of the surface of the water for the pattern of the sky and its reflection.